A lot of locks and doors, aren't there, miss? Well, we're trying to persuade the commissioner to let us get rid of them, Mr. Kells. Youth House isn't a prison. Pretty good imitation, I'd say. Of course, uh, this is my first experience with, uh, with anything like this. Well, it wasn't so bad, huh? Really wasn't. Maybe you liked it so much you'll come back here, huh, Karen? Mr. Kells. Oh, he's putting you on, Miss Lee. That door over there will take you to the street. Good luck, Karen. Mr. Kells? Luck? Let's just hope she's learned her lesson. Goodbye, Miss Lee. Theater 5 presents The First Weekend. Karen, let's not hang around in the hall. Go in. Well, I guess I'm a little nervous. Nervous? About what? Mm, just coming home and what it's going to be like now. That's going to be up to you, isn't it? Suppose so. You suppose so? You suppose so? What does that mean? Pa, I made up my mind I wouldn't start anything. Now, don't you start. All right, Karen. What am I supposed to do? You tell me how a father is supposed to treat a daughter who just got out of jail. Youth house ain't a jail. Miss Lee told you. Excuse me, Miss Kells. I owe you an apology. Pa, please. Would you mind telling me how a father treats a daughter who has just returned from a two-month stay in youth house but she was caught carrying a gun? Pa, we've been through that. I've been through it over and over, night after night in my mind. How I've been through it. I'm sorry. Is that all you can say? What do you want me to say? Want? Want? I didn't want my daughter arrested, brought into court, sent to a... Uh, but that's what I got. Pa? Yeah? You want me to leave? You're not home five minutes and you want to leave. Where would you go? Maybe you think that Danny, that boyfriend of yours... Pa! Will take you in, feed pa. you... Maybe get you another gun to... Where are you going? To my room. Karen? 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 I'm sorry. I'm not hungry, Pa. You want to sulk all day? I said sorry. I heard you. You told me you didn't like the food in where you were. It was okay. Come to the table. I, I promise I'm not going to talk about it. Well, what will we talk about, Pa? Well, uh, maybe you'll explain why you like that crazy music so much. We can get in a fight about that, too. No, no fight. That's a promise. Okay. Uh, I am a little hungry. Your pa isn't such a bad cook. Hmm. I thought maybe tonight we'd uh, go to a movie. It's a monster picture. Karen? Did you hear me? Pa, I'm scared. We'll have to hurry, get through the dishes. Scared, Pa. Of course, we could leave the dishes till we get back. Pa, did you hear me? I heard you. Everything's going to be all right. What's going to make it all right? What's it going to be like now, Pa? Everything's going to be the way it should be. How's that? I don't want to talk about it now. How is it when everything's all right, Pa? When you're happy and I'm happy? It, well, it's when you're a good girl. When I come home from work, you're here. I don't have to worry about... Well, about the kids you hang out with, and I... It's going to be fine. I'm scared. 
There's nothing to be scared about if you behave yourself. You don't like the kids I go with, do you? What's there to like? A bunch of boys with tight pants and long hair and a lot of girls with tight pants and short hair. Gangs, gang fights. No, I don't like your friends. And what am I supposed to do after school? You've got homework, haven't you? And at night? I'm here. Oh, what about when you go bowling? Most nights I'm home. I'm 16, Pa. Where am I going to find friends? You'll find them. Where? It was all right when your mother was alive. I had the same friends, Pa. That's not what I mean. Wasn't it better for you? I guess it was better for all of us. Maybe, maybe I, I, I could swing it and, and we could move. Why? Well, you'd make new friends. Get away from, from... Danny. At least you won't be carrying his gun. It wasn't his gun. You're lying. You're... I promised you I wouldn't get into it. Get your coat and we'll go to the picture. All right, Pa. Probably a good picture. Hello? 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 Who was it? Somebody hung up. Oh. I'll get it. I've got it. Hello? I guess he hasn't got guts enough to talk to me, but he can carry a gun. I told you, Pa. Hello? You want to speak to Karen? She's not in. Why'd you do that, Pa? Because I don't want you to see Danny. Let's go. You go ahead. What's the matter? I don't feel like a movie. Because you think Danny's going to call again and I'll be out and you'll sneak off and meet him. That's why you don't feel like going. You might have let me talk to him. We're going to the movie. No. <gasps> okay. Then we'll sit and wait for the phone and we'll both talk to him. This is no good, Pa. This is the way I was afraid it was going to be. You keep telling me you're scared. You keep saying you're afraid. But you're not afraid to start all over with a guy who got you into trouble. It wasn't Danny's fault. Not Danny's fault. Then it was your fault, maybe. Maybe. Or my fault. Or the schools or somebody. I told you this was no good. Well, then what is good? Tell me, what is good? Oh, you don't understand. But you and Danny do. Well, maybe we don't either. I understand one thing. One thing I understand beautifully. And that is that a decent girl doesn't go around with bums and hoops. A good girl doesn't get mixed up with those people. All right, all right. Then maybe I'm not a good girl. That's not true. You don't really believe that, Pa. I want to believe it. You won't let me. Because I won't say Danny's no good? That's right, because you won't promise not to see him. Because you want to see him. Well, I'd have to see him in school. I don't school. I mean now, like tonight. Tonight is just tonight, Pa. What does that mean? Well, I got to go out. I got to go to school. I got to have friends. I, I can't stay in this house with you all the time, Pa. I'm only doing what they told me at youth house. They told you not to let me see Danny. They said a lot of things. About Danny? A lot of what they said I didn't understand, but they did talk about your friends, about changing them, all of them. And you picked on Danny. He's one of them, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he's one of them. The only decent one. You say it yourself, the only decent one. You know they're no good. And if you see them, the same thing will happen all over again. And this time, what do you want with them, Karen? Why do you need them? They're all I've got, Pa. All I've got. I guess that's Danny. I guess? Well? Hello? Danny? Yeah, Mr. Kells. Danny, I think you'd better come over here. Never mind about what. Karen and I'll be waiting for you. We both want to see you. I 
I guess that's him. Yeah, he came all right. Pa? Yeah? Nothing. Come in, Danny. Hiya, Karen. Hi, Danny. Is that all you got to say? Look, you asked me if... After you called and didn't have the guts to talk to me. Okay, I figured you want to shoot off your mouth and maybe you got it coming. Go ahead, start the lecture. What good will that do me? Well, not much, but it may take the heat off Karen. You're so worried about Karen, maybe you've got another gun for her to carry? You want to frisk me? I'm not a cop. Well, what do you want? What does he want, Karen? He doesn't want me to see you. Is that what you want? What do you care what she wants? Fool it, will you, Dad? Don't call me Dad. Just an expression. Let her talk. Is that what you want, Karen? I... He's my pa. Yeah, I know that, but what's that got to do with anything? You lousy young punk! I let go of Danny, me, old man! Danny, don't quit it! Danny! Pa? Pa, you hurt? I told him to let go of me. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You told me. And now I'm telling you. You leave Karen alone, you understand? Yeah, I understand, and Karen understands. What do you understand, Dad? No, no. My daughter don't understand. You say I don't understand. Let me tell you this. Maybe I don't understand, Karen. But I dig you, Danny. You're young and strong and tough, and you carry a gun. That wasn't my piece. That was Frenchie's gun. And what were you doing with it? Frenchie asked me to hold it. He uh, was afraid that the cops might... And you don't have a gun, Danny? They cost money, Dad. Lots of money. We got one. One in the whole gang. And we ain't gonna get no more unless somebody steals them. What are you waiting for, then? Go out and steal them. Maybe you were waiting for Karen. Is that it? Oh, you're gonna end up on the floor again. Is that what you want? I know what I want. I want... Yeah, and I know what you want, too, and Karen knows. The whole world knows, Dad. You want a decent home and a decent girl in it. That's all you want, isn't it, Dad? That shouldn't be too tough. Right, Karen? Just behave yourself. That's all he wants. Yeah. That's it. What I want. Tell him, Karen. What? What should she tell me? You don't think you're asking for much, do you, Dad? I'm not asking for anything that my mother and father didn't ask of me. Oh, grow up, Dad. Take a look around you. Please, Danny. No, let him talk. Maybe I'm going to hear something at last. Yeah, you're going to hear all right. You're going to hear just the way it is. The way you made it, Dad. Because we didn't make them. Found them ready-made and made by you. Me? Eh, maybe not you, but squares like you. You want, you want... You want us all to be good and nice and take what's coming to us. And that looks like plenty. You're talking like I made the world. No, you didn't. But all the guys from 30 years on, all you guys tell us this is the way the world is and this is the way it's going to be. And you tell us we better like it. Well, guys my age and girls, they look around and what they see ain't so great. They say if the rules you made are so good, where are you? Nowheresville, Dad, nowhere. So these kids make their own rules and we play on their team. So now maybe you got it straight and you'll stop yapping about what you want and think about Karen for a while. (laughs) What's so funny, Pa? Uh, Me, I guess. I'm sorry about what Danny said. I'm not. Neither am I. I I think I'd like some more coffee. I, uh, never thought of it this way, Danny. I used to say to myself, all I ask is that my daughter be like her mother. Or maybe like the girls on TV. Some of those girls are pretty spacey. Spacey? Far out, you you know. No, I don't know. But I'm glad you told me everything. You know, some of the things Danny said made more sense than what they told me at the youth house. Youth house is okay. Why? Well, they know a lot. Most of them are... I mean, not the kids, but the teachers. They try. And I don't try? You don't know. You think what Danny said was right? You you go along with that, Karen? Yeah, most of it. 
Danny, you were talking about what I wanted. And it's true, but I've been thinking. What's wrong with it? I don't want my daughter to get into trouble. I don't want her hanging out with a gang. I don't want her arrested for holding a gun for someone else. That's what I want. I want a little... A little decency. That's what I want. What do you want, Danny? Huh? I know what I want. You say it doesn't make sense, so I ask you, Danny, what do you want? Well, I I want a lot of things. Like what? Well, give me a chance to think. All right. What do you want, Karen? I... I don't know. Then what are you talking about? You don't know what you want. Danny does a lot of screaming, but he doesn't know... Yes, I do. I want a car. A car? A big, fat convertible? That would make... While we're dreaming, make it a sports car. And that will make you happy? A car? That will take care of everything? It'll take care of a lot. I don't know. I read about these rich kids up in Connecticut. They seem to get in a lot of trouble. They've got cars. That's different, Pa. Everything seems to be different. I remember when I was a kid... It ain't like that now. I used to think what it was going to be like when I grew up and I could do whatever I wanted. And there were a lot of things I wanted. You had a chance to get them. Not all of them. Not half of them, Danny. But there was one big difference, it seems to me. What was that, Pa? I wasn't mad. I wasn't mad at anyone. And you are, Danny. You and all the kids like you. You tell me to look around. I am. I'm looking at you. I don't like what I see. But I don't want to stomp you, Danny. I I don't want to destroy you. That's nuts. No, it isn't, Danny. You look around at the world and you don't like what you see, so you want to destroy it. You want to stomp it to death. You want a knife and slit it. I never carry a blade. That's what you want, Danny. You may not know what you want, but that's it. No! There are a lot of things wrong with this world, Danny. And I think you're one of them. Yeah, sure you do. That's why you don't want me seeing Karen. You think Karen's wrong, too, but she's yours, so that makes it cool. You're yelling, Danny. Yeah, sure I'm yelling. You're blaming me for what happened to Karen. And you'd rather blame me or the neighborhood or the world. It wasn't Danny's fault, Pa. I think we've been talking too much about whose fault it was instead of thinking about what's going to happen. It's going to be all right, Pa. I don't know, but Karen, I love you. I can't give you the car. I don't want a car, Pa. I can't give you a million dollars. I can't... Oh, forget what I can't give, but there's one thing I can give you. And I hope it's enough. I can give you trust. I know one thing you wanted, Karen. You wanted to see Dan. It doesn't matter now, Pa. Yes, it does. Here. You and Danny go to the movies. Here's the door key. Go ahead. Take it, Danny. Pa, I'll stay home with you. Sure, tonight. But there are all the other nights, Karen. No. Danny, you take Karen to the movies. Go ahead. Go on. What time you want me home, Pa? You come home, Karen, when you want. When you want. I won't be waiting up for you. Good night, Pa. Good night. Good night, Mr. Kells. Good night, Danny. Uh, Danny. Yeah? Nothing. Karen, even though I'm not waiting up for you, please come home soon. Presented The First Weekend, written by Murray Burnett and directed by Ted Bell. In the cast, John Gibson, Evelyn Juster, Jack Grimes, and Arlene Walker. Audio engineers, Marty Folia and Neil Pulse. Sound technician, Ed Blaney. Script editor, Jack C. Wilson. Original music by Alexander Vlastotsenko. Orchestra under the direction of Glenn Austin. 
executive producer for Theater 5, Ted Bell. We invite your comments. Write to Theater 5, New York 23, New York. That's Theater 5, New York 23, New York. This is Fred Foy speaking. This has been an ABC Radio Network production.